Okay, so I had a CFL burn out on me. This is a CFL compact fluorescent lamp. So I've plugged it in, and I'm gonna turn off the other lights just so we can see if there's any light there at all. And I do not see any. So just for fun, I wanna see what went wrong with this bulb, and maybe we can fix it. I don't really care if I do or not, but it would be interesting to see if we could. All right, stay tuned. All right, now I wanna be careful opening this because as we know, this contains mercury. Okay, a good way of opening it, it seems, is just taking a very thin bladed object and coming in down like this. Sticking it under there and popping the top off like so. Now you wanna be careful with this because there is this electrolytic capacitor here and that could have some energy stored in it and you could get shocked. So you want you want to make sure you don't touch that. All right, so I tried to desolder the filament from the circuit board. That didn't really work out too well just because it's an awkward angle. I'm gonna to try to unravel these leads here on these two poles and they seem like they will come off. They're not soldered in place. It's just a pressure contact. And there's two. And I think this is where the electrolytic connect. Yep, you saw the little arc there. I was just discharging the electrolytic. So there's no more voltage in there, at least not much. Okay, now I should be able to just desolder these two terminals without any trouble. And now I wanna be careful because as soon as this other one comes out, the lamp is going to fall onto the bench and it may break, so you need to hold it with one hand. Okay, there we go. Now the part containing mercury has completely been removed from the circuit. And I found the part of the circuit that had the problem. It was the filament on the left side here. So if I place my resistance meter across this filament, I'm measuring overload. And just to prove that I am making good contact on the wire, I'll short it out on this side here. And you can see we're measuring a very low resistance, so the leads are making a decent contact there. And if we measure the other filament, so on the right here, you can see the resistance is quite low. It's around five ohms. So this filament has opened inside the glass bulb. So this lamp is unfixable, but I did get some interesting components out of it. So wasn't a total loss. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this interesting.